Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas Eve to all you beautiful people out there. The fellas and those beautiful ladies oh, that I call my cheerleaders. Merry Christmas to each and every single one of you. Oh, I hope you're having an amazing day so far. I mean, hopefully things just get better as the day goes on, right? Because right now, this video is dropping early Christmas Eve. That's when I decided to drop it for you beautiful people out there. But you know what? I'm wishing you a Merry Christmas. Hopefully you're spending it with your loved ones, your family members, your significant other, your husband, your wife, whatever has it. I just hope, I just wish you a Merry Christmas. And of course, Mr. Wonderful is in front of the camera. That beautiful moonlight shining through the SC Sneaker Factory windows upon myself. But today... I know that beautiful light is shining bright on you and your family and all those beautiful presents underneath the Christmas tree. But you know what? It's not all about the presents. It may be all about Mr. Wonderful, but it's not always about the presents. It's just about the people that you surround your life with, especially during the, the, the holiday season. I wish you a Merry Christmas. Let me go ahead and stand up for you because I am 365 days, always looking amazing, always blessed with an amazing body i am wearing this nice green carhartt pocket tee and these nice rag and bone kind of like an army-ish color but kind of more towards the beige-ish color as well but i'm keeping it casual because currently i'm just relaxing at home i'm not having any of the cheerleaders over because i just want to just chill and just be the comfort of my own self and just relax but as you can see, the hair is looking amazing. The skin, always looking amazing. The smile, I mean, ear to ear, baby. I don't always smile, though, so I don't want anybody to take that for granted. So this one right here, we are doing a Sneaker Profiles remix on this specific shoe. So remember, I've been seeing it for the past three videos, but I actually dropped this Sneaker, uh, this sneaker Live uh, Christmas Edition way back on... December 9th of 2021. Then I came back a year later, right? Uh, September 10th, 2022 with this specific sneaker profile. So what I wanted to do, because this this shoe and all, the, all my shoes deserve that beautiful spotlight to be on them. But these particular shoes in general do because we are in that Christmas season. These are my Christmas colorway shoes or my Christmas related shoes or Christmas themed shoes, whatever has it. So I wanted to let that light shine bright on them once again. And this one right here is a freaking gem. Bring it a little bit closer to me. But before we do that, let's go ahead and take a look at the box. So if you think back or if you remember Sneaker Profile um, back on September 10th, 2022, this was actually a Sneaker Profile 68 at that current time. But like I mentioned, this is a Sneaker Profile Remix on the Nike Kobe 6 Pro Tro. The Grinch colorway right here. But let's take a look at the box. All blacked out box. Great looking box. Let's take a look at that nice tag right there. It's so hopefully I could get a nice... Oh, beautiful right there. Kobe 6 Pro Tro. Green Apple. Black. Volt Crimson. Beautiful size. Ten and a half and a hundred and eighty dollar price tag. Let's take a look at you. Do got that nice Kobe symbol right there? Nice tissue paper. This was a sneaker app pickup. Oh, the sneaker app blessed your 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 man. Bless Mr. Wonderful with this one. When this drops, I was very happy. Okay, so let's let's rewind it back. Okay, so the original Nike Kobe Six Grinch was first released back on. Christmas Day of 2010. Okay, so a very iconic day. Very iconic day for myself, too, because that's when, obviously, uh, Kobe was wearing it at that time during Christmas Day. Fell in love with the shoe immediately. I'm, I'm sure everybody did at that time. But I was actually very fortunate to get the shoe. A um, little quick story about that one, and I even mentioned this on, on that profile, but... When I saw that shoe, I knew I had to have it. So I went on, went to eBay market because at that time, 2010, StockX did not exist. The only way I would get shoes is through eBay. So I was fine. I found somebody that actually had these, had a, I mean, I'm not too far, but I had to go to LA, Temple City to be exact, met up with a guy at the, at a, 
like a um a youth center uh good guy he seemed like a good guy i want to say i paid like 300 bucks for this shoe and then he gave me the shoe and then also the bag that came with it it was actually a nike town or a house of hoops exclusive i asked him how did you get the shoe i'm just curious so he said he was actually at staples center on christmas day didn't go to the game but just was there and it so happens the house of hoops there released the shoe he won the raffle to get the shoe and then he purchased it i forgot how much it went at that time well, probably like maybe 100 bucks it wasn't kobe's weren't going for a lot of money back then like they are the retail price of them are now so paid him i want to say like three or four hundred dollars for the shoe in cash and then got the shoe and then i actually wore this shoe i wore the shoe a lot it was through my college time frame when i wore it i remember our first day back from christmas break i wore it and everybody you know in the university was just looking at my shoe because i was the only one in the university that actually had that shoe so very exciting time for myself my fraternity the guys there knew you they already knew what i represented when it came to the sneaker game so good times well anyways later on down the the years ahead wore this shoe and then eventually sold it because i was just like downsizing and i was just like you know that's a shoe that i'm just probably not gonna wear anymore sold it regretted selling it then i wanted to rebuy it back but the price was high and then when kobe passed it shot up even more but thank the nike heavens thank sneaker app they re did the pro trail on this shoe redropped it i actually hit on early access with this shoe so i had it way ahead of time very happy and this is what you're looking at this is the beautiful proto protro edition the kobe 6 this shoe actually released back on december 24 2020 so it was actually 10 years after the original kobe first came out obviously this has a lot better technology when compared to the the 2010 version um uh, from what i hear i haven't even wore this shoe so i don't know but it's actually supposed to be more you know technical as far as now with the with the times now but it looks to me looks very identical to the last uh or i should say to 2010 because i did have that shoe the only thing about that though is this the box that it came in from the 2010 it had scales throughout the entire box on the lid on the sides it was just it was scaly giving that mamba um that mamba look to it so that was a pretty cool touch with the box i really enjoyed that but as far as the shoe go i want to say it's same color same style um what you see on this one is that beautiful like that scaly that mamba that snake like ma material but you all have it in that beautiful grinch green i love it but you see that that nice scaly on the upper part of the shoe on the toe box on the side panel that black painted on swoosh this nice dark green hit when it comes to the midsole that grinch green but also this more kind of like a little bit translucent uh midsole going towards the outsole i love that this is a little bit of a darker hit when it comes to the midsole a nice light lime green hit you see that nike in the zoom in that nice light green paint but below that is that nice green grinch green outsole more of this this is kind of like a hologram feel to it but this is all in green nice dark green just beautiful green hits when it comes to this one you see the the rear part of the shoe right that beautiful glossy green guard it's like in that plastic you see kobe's signature below that that nice green hit on the midsole light green hit on the midsole and then below that that nice green hit on the outsole slight little bit of fabric going on right here where the ankle support is all right medial side same exact as the lateral side except you don't have that nike uh that nike zoom emboss you don't have nothing here just a flat lime green hit uh, that grinch green in uh outsole going throughout but it ends right here and it goes into that more translucent outsole right there as you can see beautiful grinch green midsole i love that little little sh uh shank plate with that carbon fiber 
Above all that though is this nice medial side, that plastic guard when it that's all in green, that Grinch green, that green scaling uh, material going out on, on the medial part of the shoe, that blacked out swoosh, gorgeous. But look at how it transitions, right? You got that dark green, but then it starts fading into the light, or you could say that light green fading into the dark. But here's the front part of the shoe. Love it. You see that venom hit right there when it comes to the the outsole? But you have that nice green hit when it comes to the front part of the shoe. I love it. Let's take a look at the outsole though. All Grinch green outsole. Do have that nice carbon fiber black shank plate, carbon fiber hit right here. That red Kobe symbol. Beautiful outsole though. I love how that outsole looks. My favorite part, like I always say, the aerial view of the shoe because this is the part that I see the most. Look at that nice scaly toe box. I love that in that nice green. That beautiful like yellowish, but more of like a lime green tongue going on with that matching lime green laces. You see that? You can see the scales going on in the sole or in on the tongue. Nice lime green tongue with that red Kobe symbol right there. And then let's take a look. So you got a darker interior when it comes to the tongue, but then you also have that nice hit going on on the inside. I forgot what it says, but I, I know it says I want something, but who knows. But beautiful. Love it. Love this shoe. Glad to have this in, in my possession. I remember I had a chance to get two of these, but I was like, you know, one's all I need. Um, this shoe actually released, I want to say, it actually released prior to Kobe's passing, um, which was back on 2000. Uh, I forgot. You know, I, I could be wrong. I'm not going to say that because I don't know if I'm right or not. But I feel like this released prior to Kobe passing because it wasn't going for very much when it first came out. Um, it wasn't going for much at all when this, when this uh, came out again. It, I feel like it was like probably around retail price like on the resale market um when they dropped this so i was able to get another pair of this shoe but i just i didn't i didn't i decided not to and then when i i want to say when kobe passed and it shot up it shot up in a in the price tag and um i'm not sure what the resale price is now but just a very iconic just a classic i would say i would sit consider this a classic christmas shoe now just because, you know, back 2010 was when Kobe first wore it and it was first introduced to the world and then still to this day, a very sought after Kobe shoe. But let me know what you think about that one. Do you have that one in your collection? Were you able to get it back in 2010 or did you have to wait for the Pro Tro to come out back, back on 2020? I would like to know. A uh, pretty decent price tag, $180. I want to say it didn't go for very much when I first when it first came out. I want to say it only was only like a hundred dollar price tag on it, um, but don't quote me on that. I just that's from just memory. But I appreciate each and every single one of you. Thank you for spending your Christmas Eve with yours truly, Mr. Wonderful. Like I mentioned before, I wish you a very merry Christmas. I hope you have a blessed day today. If you're watching this in the night. Hope you have a blessed night. Enjoy this time with your beautiful family, the fellas out there, and those beautiful ladies. Oh, my cheerleaders, you know, I especially wish you a Merry Christmas. And you know what? Just like how I always am when it comes to Christmas, I'm always under the mistletoe, especially when I'm around those beautiful ladies. And they always fill me, fill me up with kisses. And I just love it. It just feels amazing. But they always say that beautiful words. They always say those beautiful words and they say, Floyd, Mr. Wonderful, you are too damn sweet.